Hello, Facebook family and friends. How are you today? Today, we are going to talk about why paying principal and interest on your investment property is a terrible idea. Now, before we get into this, this is Moss from Investor Partner Group. We are property advisors. We are property developers. We are tax and SMSF advisors. We help create sustainable property portfolios while educating people how to pick uh, development properties, how to pick suburbs, how to do developments without sacrificing their lifestyle. Now, let's come back to the topic. So the topic is why paying principal and interest is a terrible idea. Now, in effect, in paper, it seems like a really good idea when you are paying principal and interest because you're paying your property down um, and the quicker you pay your property, you know, the quicker you would be out of debt. But in effect, when you are paying your property down, you're paying the principal and interest. When you go back to get equity release out of that property, you end up paying interest back to the bank on the money, which is technically yours. Now, what should really happen? What should really happen is in order to get access to your equity, you should not be paying anything back to the bank, but you should be using what we call that recycling or equity recycling, which basically means is, especially in the foundation stage of your property portfolio, you should not be paying any principal at the start, especially when you're starting up your portfolio, you're building up your portfolio and you can you should be continuously using that equity or the short-term equity or the short-term growth that you're getting to basically build up your portfolio. Now, here is an interesting thought. I'm not saying that paying principal is bad. What I'm saying is that principal and interest has a time in the overall sustainable property portfolio or property strategy, and you only tend to pay interest and principal at that given point in time, such that it does not impact your own personal lifestyle. Now. What is the idea? The idea here is this. When you are in the foundational stage of your property investing, you tend to stick with interest only. You save your own principal. You park it in an offset account. You park it in your own savings account and use that towards your next deposit for the next property. Also, setting up the offset account and using the offset account is a great strategy because what you tend to do is as soon as you've caught the short term, equity on a property, you would use or withdraw that equity or debt recycle, use that excess cash flow, combine it, and basically jump in to buy the next property. Again, switching over to from interest only to principal and interest at a given time is quite the key because, you know, if you do it earlier, you're making a terrible mistake. Uh, if you do way, way too late, again, you're making a terrible mistake as well. So understanding the strategy and making sure how to use interest only loans in your own personal benefit is the key here thank you for listening to me if you have any questions comments concerns uh, feel free to jump in uh, feel free to put it in the comments below thank you for listening to me have a great day goodbye